everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Addiction. Today is the day that I'm gonna cry and snob and drag my head around the floor on camera because wah wah wah, my Mercedes crapped again. Whew. Anyway, so uh, what kept happening is uh, every time I would start, it would crank, it would start, and immediately it would die. And of course, the check engine light is always on. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to check the codes and it came out MAF sensor below voltage. I'm like, okay, fine. I reset the code and everything and start, try to start it again and it shows the MAP sensor is below voltage and I'm like, and then it kept going back and forth. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to rip off the band-aid and I'm going to change both. So I called my local hardware store and uh, the cheapest map sensor for the Mercedes that I can get is from Bosch or Brimmer. These are the, these are the two brands, they had it in stock and they would be at least about $125 each. Uh, the Bosch was obviously more expensive. So like as always, I went to Rock Auto and I found this ultra power map sensor. I it says made in China right here, so at least they are honest about it. For glorious $22, yay! And when I called around my local hardware store for a uh, Mercedes map sensor, uh, again, they can only have the Bosch or the Bremer. And uh, the Bosch was $375 and the Bremer was $280. So, and I was like, oh my God. I went to my favorite Rock Auto and I found this ultra power one it's supposed to work because uh, this is not a expensive project this is a budget project so I decided I'm gonna spend the cheapest amount of money so I paid $63 for that math sensor and let's see how that works so to start the project first what I have to do is I have to take these intakes and the front fascia all the plastic off and then I will have access to the map sensor is somewhere around here and the map sensor is all the way to the back. And before you can do any job, as you can see, the hood is on the service location. So what you do is you go to the driver's side first. There's a button. You press this button and then you go to the passenger side. You press that button again and push the hood all the way back until it's this position. So the way we're going to take the math off is uh, first you disconnect the connector and there's two clips here and here once you unhook them and there's another one you use the flat head to unhook that and then the map should come off in your hand So I ended up uh, taking the whole thing off. Um, so if you wanted to take the whole thing off, including the elbow, uh, just imagine this thing is behind uh, the intake. So right here, there's a rubber hose. Use a long flat head, go from the top and just wiggle it off. And on the bottom, um, so this portion is attached uh, to the butterfly valve with these two clips. So in the bottom clip, just press this uh, thing and it will, if you do this movement, this thing will come on top. So putting the two maps side by side. Um, so in the OEM math, there's an indication where the airflow and which way this will sit. 
<laughs> this map is so cheap, whoa, that there's nothing on it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the pins and everything else will work. It's not a question. But damn, it's cheap. It's cheap! What? What kind of math you get for $65? <laughs> To take the map sensor off, uh, there was an 8 mm uh, torque bolt. I just used an 8 mm socket and this came off, so I'm going to replace that. Seems like it's working good. If I helped you anyway, please hit the like and subscribe notification so that I can afford to keep this piece of alive and uh, make more make more videos so that I can help you guys. Hey everybody, I will be giving away the Cardiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month. So please hit the subscribe button right away.